Welcome to Monday's Mental Mistakes. This week we're looking at the well-travelled road effect. Here's a simple example. I'm going to show you a series of colour words in a variety of colours. You need to say the colour of the word, not what the word says. So, if for example I gave you this one, you would say black. Let's begin. Okay, now let's do something different. This time, you need to say what the word says, not what colour it is. So, if for example, I gave you this one again, you would say white. Let's begin. Okay, having done the two different activities, which one felt like it took longer? If you felt like the first activity took longer, then congratulations, you suffer from the well-travelled road effect, like the rest of us. The two activities were both timed at 12 seconds, but the first had two significant differences. It was the first of the two, and so it was more novel. Also, the second was much easier, and so required less mental effort. That is, the second activity, reading words, is a far more routine task than the first, and routine tasks tend to feel quicker. This perception that routine tasks take less time than novel tasks is the well-travelled road effect. The well-travelled road effect is the tendency to underestimate the duration of routine activities. That is, tasks that we do often seem like they go more quickly. The well-travelled road effect makes us more likely to experience normal activities as going quickly. At the same time, we're unlikely to have the same experience of novel activities. The principal way to counter the well-travelled road effect is to time activities if accurate estimates are needed. Another technique that can reduce the effect is to determine before the activity that you're going to estimate its duration. That is, when we know that we're going to have to estimate how long a task took beforehand, we tend to be more accurate in our estimates than having to retrospectively estimate duration. For example, if I would told you before the activities that I was going to ask you to estimate how long each one took, you would have been more accurate in your estimates afterwards. Unfortunately, in most situations where we need to estimate task duration, we don't have the opportunity to prepare for it or to accurately record it. All we can do is exercise scepticism at our naive time estimates. The well-travelled road effect is named for the phenomenon of drivers feeling like journeys take less time when travelling familiar routes, and conversely, unfamiliar routes feel longer. This has long been discussed, but only recently has it been experimentally confirmed. One consequence of this is that drivers are unlikely to switch to an unfamiliar route unless it is substantially quicker, as the familiar route will feel faster than it actually is. The well-travelled road effect applies in any situation where we attempt to estimate the time taken for some task. With tasks that are more routine, normal, or requiring less mental effort, seeming to take less time. This means that it's not always the most familiar activity that will seem quicker, if the alternate activity requires much less thinking. For example, for those unused to driving in traffic, routes with more cars are likely to feel longer because they require more attention, even if they are more familiar with the other routes. Of course, the more you drive these routes, the more routine driving in heavy traffic will be, and eventually it will feel just as quick. The well-travelled road effect also applies to our perception of time passing in life in general. It's long been noted that as we get older, time seems to pass faster and faster. One explanation is that we encounter less new experiences as we age, since we have more experience and we settle into routines. So while a young child may have a novel experience every day, and a teenager once a week, someone in their 30s may only have a similarly novel experience once a year, and a retiree once a decade. The well-travelled road effect rests on our main method of estimating how long something took. Our primary way of judging durations is by assuming a constant rate at which we gain information. Novel experiences represent more information than routine ones, since in essence, routine experiences give no new information, and we tend to tune out. So novel experiences give us more information, which we assume is coming in at the same rate as the far less information in a routine event. 
Therefore, we conclude that novel experiences had to have taken longer to fit all that information in. And while this may have once been a reasonable rule of thumb, it is frequently inaccurate. In conclusion, the well-travelled road effect is our tendency to underestimate the duration for routine tasks. Until next week, may your mental mistakes be minor.